Hello everybody, welcome to Great Berry Beauties. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Grace Beer Youth today. Today's beer comes from Sam City Brewing out of New York. This is their Washed Up, and it's an American IPA. Uh, plain Jane Silver Can with a stick on wrapper, but they have spent a lot of money on this stick on wrapper. Very colorful, glossy wrapper. I'd say this wrapper costs a pretty penny. <coughs> and it wraps all the way around the can and touches edge of the label touches each other. It completely covers the can. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we did a uh, their uh, other half uh, brewery, I mean, other half brewery that uh, by the way this was sent to me by Alex, John, and Josh and they sent me uh, about six beers and uh, this was this is the second one from them that they've uh, from they that they've sent me that we've done, we did the power of one uh, from uh, Sam City, and this is the washed up, and we did the other half uh, forever Simcoe. So this is the third one that these guys have sent me, but this is the second one from Sam City. Uh, right off the bat, uh, I've been having subscribers, and I usually don't go to the websites, guys. Because a lot of times you gotta enter in what your birthday is, and I'm over 21 just to get into the sites, and, uh, and then a lot of times they don't tell you any more than what's on the can, and that's what the example on this. Uh, I went to Sand City's website, and they have it listed here, but they don't. This is what they say about this beer: washed up IPA, 6.8 percent, an India pale ale brew with pale malt, caramel, and wheat. Dry hopped intensely with Citra and Simcoe hops, fermented with our house ale yeast. That's it. That's all it says. Uh, no more information, uh, basically, what we can get on one of the sites. Uh, and a lot of times they'll even put what they use, uh, Citra or Simcoe or whatever, on the can. But anyway, uh, a lot of times you can go to the site and it doesn't give you a whole lot more information. That's what's written on the can. So, uh, another reason I usually don't go to the websites. Uh, a lot of times it doesn't do you any good at all. Sometimes I guess it could, so let's see what happens there. I may start visiting the websites for the reviews, but uh, I did that for a couple of reviews many years ago and found it to be fruitless. So uh, they, if it doesn't have the eye views on the can, more than likely it's not going to tell you on their website what it is. But anyway, let's get on with this beer. I uh, appreciate Alex, John, and Josh sending it to me. And uh, it is basically... The letter that uh, they sent me says Simcoe and Centra Hops, $15 for a four pack, four four pack limit. So, and I'm taking it they, uh, according to what he says here, they went to the brewery to get it. So, probably only available there, I would say, at very limited distribution, if any. So, I would say you probably have to pick it up there. And uh, they do not date their stuff. There is nothing written on the bottom of this can. Uh, and he says info on it. They opened in late uh, 2015 and located in Northport, New York, which is Long Island. And they've only been canning for a few months. Uh, been increasingly popular in the New York craft beer scene. And uh, both the Power of One and Wash Up are released at the brewery on February the 19th. So, and they stood in line for and sold out immediately. So everything they produce in this can. So, gone. Another reason why they don't probably worry about dating them. Uh, if everything is picked up at the brewery and it sells out, not a whole whole lot of reason to do that. But then again, 
people buy four four packs of this and then they want to trade them and sell them and you end up getting an old beer it doesn't have a date on you have any idea so uh, that's just me though guys anyway let's get on with this I don't want this to be a super long video uh, went to uh, Rape Beer has Sand City Brewery listed this beer is not even listed amongst the beers that Sand City does on their site so they're out of this review and uh, I don't have any additional information to give you here uh, there's no IBUs or anything listed here on either Beer Advocate or uh, Untapped so uh, we have no idea what the IBUs are anyway enough about that let's give it open first beer of the day for me uh, cuisine is curried in your Thai food cheese of the peppery Monterey pepper jack sharp blue cheddar Stronger cheeses, gorgonzola, Limburger. The meat is poultry, fish, shellfish, and salmon. And I will add grilled meat to that. Brass water, pint, back or not, tumbler mug, sign, sidel. I'm using my favorite snifter today, guys. And not recommended for extended salaries. Looks like a juice bomb, guys. It really does. Unfiltered. Looks like orange juice in the glass. Very, very nice looking beer. Let's get the nose down in there. That smells absolutely wonderful, guys. Uh, I can see uh, why this sells out. I mean, once you've had it and you've tasted it, you know what you're getting, and you're going to grab all they're going to let you get your little grubby hands on. Them. Like I said, uh, four, four pack limit. So you can only get four, eight, 12, 16 of these puppies. That's all they'll let you have at one time. And it sold out. So they had enough people there in line to sell everything they produced. Wonderful aroma. Very, very hoppy. Pine, grapefruit, pineapple, very, very citrusy. Wow, maybe a little orange peel. Smells very, very pleasant, guys. Very, very pleasant. Smells like an A beer, it really does. Well, I'm drooling. It's time. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Alex, John, and Josh. Thank you. I appreciate it, guys. That is so smooth and, you know, and easy drinking. Alcohol is non-existent basically in the taste. That almost tastes like orange juice. Heavy juice presence of this. That is so smooth. Unbelievably smooth. You could drink this for breakfast for orange juice. It is that close to orange juice. That is incredible. That's probably one of the smoothest juice bombs I think I've ever had. That is smooth. I would say the IBUs are very low on this. I wouldn't be surprised if it's not 50 or 55. It doesn't have a heavy bitterness to it at all. Almost drinks like a, a pale ale juice bomb. But the hot presence is definitely pale ale-ish. And I could sit here and drink every bit of that right in front of me. It wouldn't take me long at all. Wow. I am very impressed. I am very impressed with this. Sand City has got it going on. No doubt about it. You guys up there on Long Island, New York, that's the beer you should be drinking. Get off that macro crap. Drink something that's got some taste to it. Oh, yeah. This is awesome. I can see why they can He didn't tell me if all three of them went up there, but... If Alex, John, and Josh, all three up there, and they all got four, four packs of this, they stocked up pretty well. All right, guys, let's let it warm up. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Got this little left here. Awesome lacing is left on the glass, guys. This is a smooth drinking beer. It really is. It's a very, very well made beer. Big tropical fruit notes, citrusy, uh, orangey, grapefruity. Uh, Probably one of the easiest drinking juice bombs I think I can recall drinking. This is so well blended together. Uh, very, very, very tasty. Guys, I would buy this beer religiously if I could get it. Uh, my only fuss, it doesn't have a date. Of course, uh, 
Alex and, and John and Josh sent us a little note saying that they went to the brewery and they picked it up and they told me when it was done. But like I said, uh, it's not distributed. It's not going to be put on your store shelf. So uh, you're not going to go in and not know how old the beer is. But if these guys are buying maximum four, four packs and they're wanting to trade this and it's set in their refrigerator for two, three, four months and then they trade it to somebody and those guys are not going to know uh, how old the beer is. So that is my only fuss, these guys that are doing these beers. Evidently it's a small brewery, but I would like to see them date their stuff. Uh, that's, you know how I am. Uh, I just want to see dates on these IPAs. I, I, I do. Even if, even if they're just taking a price tag sticker and putting it on each can or the top of each can uh, to let us know. But, you know, if they're selling everything at the brewery, they really, they probably don't give a rat's ass. They're selling everything, so they don't care. Uh, but they are doing some very damn tasty stuff, so I will have to give them that. And if the brewery was around here, I would be there buying it religiously. Uh, very damn tasty beer. It's awesome. It's definitely an A beer as far as I'm concerned. Delicious. Delicioso. Final chug. Don't want to leave absolutely none in there. But that beer is freaking awesome. Nine out of ten for me. I don't think keeping from getting to ten is not having a date on it, guys. Even though I know when it was done, I want to see that. Yeah, it's a 99 uh, on the scale. I had a date on the bottom, it would get to 100. Like I said, you know, oh, you're crazy. You shouldn't do that. Oh, you should give it a ten. I mean, uh, it's me. It's my choice. It's my, you know, it's, it's my prerogative. Uh, if you say it's a 10 bear, I'm not going to argue with that. It, it is a 10 bear and a 9 can as far as I'm concerned. I want to see a date on it somewhere. So, uh, with that being said, uh, like I told you, uh, Ray Beer didn't even have this beer listed at all. For all the beers that Sand City does, it was not even listed there. And over to Beer Advocate, they say 92 Outstanding. It is an outstanding beer. It is. And over to Untapped, they have it at 4.07, which is in their A scale, but not their upper A scale. That's in their A minus to A scale to me. Uh, so it is an A beer. It's a, it's A all the way around. It's definitely a, a very tasty juice bomb and uh, not a big bitterness on the back end. Very smooth drinking beer. Like I said, it is uh, uh, as far as IBUs and bitterness. It's uh, I don't think it's a big IBU beer. I mean it. Uh, it tastes like a pale ale to me as far as bitterness. Very well made, very, very well done. So, if you've had this one from Sand City Brewing, their washed up IPA, American IPA, let me know what you think. It's awesome. Pick it up if you can. If you're out there in the New York area where this is done, go to the brewery and get you some if you're a hop headed. You won't be disappointed. Very tasty. It's kind of pricey though. Uh, he told me it was like $18 for a four pack. But you got to realize what you're getting, how well this beer is made. I paid more for Budweiser, guys, uh, in a bar. Of course, you know, go to the grocery store, you can get a million of them for $50. But uh, uh, it's a well-made beer. So, if you've had it, let me know what you think, guys. Come on back tomorrow. Let's take something out of that fridge. Hope it's just as good as this one. I'll see you then.